I got a call actually from Ryan Stafford, who I'd worked with on Planet of the Apes, and he said, we're doing this film called Call of the Wild. And I was, I was instantly sold by the knowing the book and um, having grown up, you know, reading it and loving the story. And I said, well, what do you, is it that you want me to do? And he said, play Buck. And I said, I'm in. <laughs> it was pretty simple. One of the most fun moments for me in this film was when I was acting alongside Harrison Ford on that at that moment. And and he looked at me and I felt that I understood him his own excitement and his emotion of of becoming free and 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 to to just go on this this blind journey he's got three stages pretty much in the film where he starts off as this big sloppy puppy that that is just washing through the space and unaware of of his you know his 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 the space he takes up and 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 there's just this abandonment and oblivion to to anything else but food and comfort right and and so everything is sort of disjointed and loose and 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 just in this state of sort of abandoned bliss and and then when he gets captured all of that sort of comes to a halt a screeching halt and he's thrown into this world where he's 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 in a state of of shock almost where he's like it's like grow up today or die and and um and that that's the beginning of his growing period. That's, that's the beginning of, it, of the growth of the character. When I first got the job, I, within an hour, I was filming my dogs in the front yard running around. I was getting them to run and then trot and then walk. And I was filming, filming them in slow motion on my, on my iPhone. And watching that and going, oh, wow, this is completely different than apes move, you know, and I've done a lot of ape movement. So it was like same arm, you know, arms in opposition. Well, dogs, when they walk, there's, you know, they, they walk in with same arm, same leg. So it's, it's very different. And the arms are, there's no articulation in the front arm. So they're, they're, they're quite limited in the, in the way they actually reach. And, and so there's a lot of pulling, pulling from underneath the body. When Harrison was acting alongside me, or, or to me, I was trying to become the best listener I could by, by allowing his inflection and his emotions, his subtleties affect me and then give me a feeling. And from that feeling, I, I would understand. So I was understanding feelings rather than words. Hey there, it's Lisa here with today's bonus clip. Now there are a lot of family movies with animals as the protagonist, but not just any animal with man's best friend, dogs. Some of the best family movies with dogs are Homeward Bound, Benji, Air Bud, Beverly Hills Two Hour, and A Dog's Way Home. What's your favorite dog movie? Let me know below. And remember, click down here to subscribe or on the side for more great content.